What up, dude? It's your boy East One L B in this motherfucker, you know. But uh, haven't done a video in a minute, man. I've been tired. I've been working, working, tired, tired, you know. But the Pistons got an important game tonight. Um, face the Utah Jazz. We currently sit in the seventh um, spot in the Eastern Conference. A half game ahead of the Milwaukee Bucks. A full game ahead of the Bulls, I believe. Um, like I said, man, I just, I just been tired, man. I don't be feeling like making videos, to be honest with you. To be honest with you, I haven't really, really watched that many videos. Uh, I haven't watched no videos, period. Um, to be honest with you, uh, I haven't even really been watching no sports shit, like far as like commentary and people talking about the game. I just haven't been doing it. But uh, we got a. We got an important game tonight, man, and uh, hopefully these guys come out and uh, be energized and be motivated, man, because we got our ass whooped last night, and I understand we got our ass whooped. Um, that game last night, I wasn't mad not one bit. I wasn't mad not one bit. I said it on Twitter. I said it on Twitter. I just wasn't mad, man. Um, they fucking hit their first 10 three-pointers. Uh, like, what can you do to stop that? Like... It wasn't just one person hitting threes. It was fucking their whole team was hitting fucking shots everywhere. At one point, I think they, I believe they was like 22 for 21. There's no defense that can stop that. Period. You had guys like Iman Shumper just hitting shots back to back. Like, it wasn't our night. So, I understand that. And if anybody, like, really, really watched basketball, you would get that. Like, there was no defense that we was going to throw out there. We could have played hard as fuck. They was hitting every fucking thing. Like, they was hitting everything. Like, everything they threw up, they was hitting in the first half. Second half, they were still hitting shit, but it slowed down a little bit. So, I wasn't mad. It was just one of those nights. I watched the whole game, too. I didn't turn it off. I didn't do none of that. Um, I wasn't mad at all. I just wasn't mad. It was just like, okay, I went to sleep. <laughs> That's what I did. I went to fucking sleep. But uh, I haven't been really watching no videos. But I'm not going to pin on it. It's been a... I've been hearing uh, uh, that people have been sneak dissing and shit, sneak dissing me and shit. And me, I, I'm, I don't hold my tongue. Um, I'm not going to put no names out there who been telling me shit. But I, I haven't watched nobody's videos because I've been working. Like, honestly, I've been working. When I hear Morris sneak dissing me and shit. Now, I haven't watched it, so I don't know. So if you watch this video, feel free to comment. Um, I, I never known you to be a sneak disser um you straightforward and uh usually you call it how you see it so i don't get if you were sneak dissing me i don't get why but hey it is what it is um i don't really too much give a fuck to be honest with you um i'm entitled to my opinion you entitled to yours i did watch one video that was a minute ago and it felt like you was like mocking me or something <laughs> It was like we was real loud and mad. I feel like he was mocking me and shit, but I don't give a fuck about none of that, man. I'm here to talk about the Pistons. And um, I gave you your credit. Like I say, man, think you're a dope YouTuber. And um, that ain't going to change, but if you got anything you want to say to me, man, you know my social medias, man. Hit me. Um, but I just got through watching King video. And uh, I agree with him on that video, man. I agree with him. I fucking agree with him. Now, some nights I had, some days I had my moments where it's just like, man, come on, we could have won that game. But last night, there's no way we could have won that game. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That game, hey, it's like I wasn't mad. It was just like, that's LeBron being LeBron. And that's Kyrie being Kyrie. And then everybody had it going. Every fucking body. You had Darren Williams hitting shots. You had the motherfucker with the dreads. I can't remember his name right now. Derek Williams. You had Iman Sharper, you had J.R. Smith, you had motherfuckers Shannon Fry. Oh, you had, and that's not even, they still missing Kyle, Kyle Corver and fucking Kevin Love. So, that team is fucking loaded. I'm not no fucking hater. Uh, I just feel like they don't need that much talent on one team. If the NBA is going to stop Chris Paul from going to the Lakers with joining uh, Kobe, why the fuck they keep allowing, I don't, Keep allowing players to go to the Cavaliers when they already got a stack, a stack team. And I don't care if they're players that they get and that was out of their prime. It's just like, come on, bro. How much fucking help do you need? It makes the NBA look fucking terrible. It look they they just look terrible, bro. They, it's not no competition. 
It just seems like it's just the Warriors, the uh, the Cavs, and the Spurs, and everybody else is just afterthoughts. And it's making me not even like the NBA no more. So it is what it is. But like I say, man, we got an important game tonight. We got the Palace. The last time Utah will be playing at the Palace. Um, we, we got our ass bust by them. Hood went off on us and shit. And um, we need to get them back. So it's, a, it's a also a revenge game and it's a redeemed game. Because last night we got our ass spanked. And I hope we come out with that fire in our eyes, man. And, and just take it to this fucking team. Um, and that's all I got to say, man. Like All that other shit is <laughs> for the birds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got time to be on here trying to argue with you motherfuckers. Go back and forth with you motherfuckers. Everybody entitled to their own opinion. My opinion, I said it last night on Twitter. I'm not even mad about this guy. Hey, the Cavs are just better. Like, what do you want? Yeah, we beat them. I said it before the game happened to my coworker. I'm like, what you think gonna happen? He was like, I think we can win. I said, I think we gonna get blown out. I still have the video. I made a video saying that Kyrie Irving was probably gonna go out for 40. And that I think I said on the video that I think it's going to be a close game, but I think we're, I said we were going to lose, but I just chose not to upload it. I could upload it if y'all want me to. It's only like a two minute video, but I could upload it if y'all want me to. It's from yesterday. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I, I caught it. I said we was going to lose this game. It was going to be the first video I upload when I said the Cavs was going to win, that I went against the Pistons. But I didn't upload it. I said, fuck it. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. But, uh, like I say, man, like I say, Morris, you out there doing what you're doing, man. Like, put a name. Oh, you put names on it. But I haven't watched nobody's videos, so I don't know. It just got brought to my attention. So, sneak this. I want to know why, shit. That just, that just me. I want to know why. Why you sneak this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. If anybody else sneak this, put a name on it. Y'all already know how I am, man. I'm, I'm, I'm straightforward, man. You know, um, straightforward. Really, I'm honest, and um, I respect people, and I just demand respect back. You know, I don't fucking hate. I don't, I don't do that. That's just not me. And uh, like I say, man, it's gonna be a tough game tonight. Y'all already know Rudy Gobert gonna be playing tough. Y'all already know Hood gonna be trying to hit threes. You know, uh, Hayward gonna be a headache. You know, uh, they power four. I can't remember his fucking name right now. Y'all know he gonna be a problem for us. But let me talk about my team. KCP, bro. Come on, it's time to get that fire back. It's time to be that alpha dog again. Uh, you haven't been an alpha dog lately. You ain't taking a step back, but it's time for you to get that fire in your ass again and just go the fuck off. Uh, Ray Jackson, he playing good. Last night, he was struggling a little bit. Everybody was fucking struggling. And it was just a, a hostile environment. And they just weren't ready for the game, man. And if they were ready, how hot them guys was, we still weren't going to win that game. So I'm hoping that these guys is going to be amped, motivated, and which I think they is. And, um, I, and I just want to see a good game, and I want us to win this game. This is a must win. And um, that's all I got to say, man. That's all I fucking got to say, um like, leave comments, do whatever you want to do. Dislike, I don't give a fuck. I don't give two fuck. Um, Andre, it's time to let. It's time to show these motherfuckers who the who the real center is, man. Who the better center is, man. I remember before last year, people were saying Gobert was better than you. I don't think so. And um, that's just my opinion. He's not. Uh, he probably a better defender than you. Um, but it's time for you. To step the fuck up and stop being lackluster. And uh, that's it. Like, subscribe. It's your boy LB. I'm gone. Peace.